the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 103 to Samuel chapter 5 verse 6 to chapter 6. 1,000 years long political agenda. David, who conquered Jerusalem and made it the capital, brought the Ark of God there and established the city as a new center for serving God. First point. The agenda of David's politics was to maintain a kingdom of priests for the next 1,000 years. After achieving unification, David moved the capital city to a new area. He moved the capital from Hebron to Jerusalem, and this had a few reasons. Among the reasons was that Jerusalem was geographically located at the center of the Israelite community, and this made it easy for the people to gather. Jerusalem back then had the Jebusites living there, despite it having been given to the tribe of Judah. Thus, making Jerusalem the new capital had the intention to fulfill God's promise about land. Second point. With Jerusalem made into the new capital, David managed to fulfill God's promise about land. A thousand years prior to David making Jerusalem the new capital, Abraham was called by God to go to the land where his descendants would live. This land became conquered by Joshua 500 years later and then distributed among the people. In terms of logistics, the promised land became conquered for the first round 500 years later by Joshua and then a thousand years later by David the second time round. Third point, David set up international politics for a kingdom of priests in Jerusalem. After seven years and six months as the king of Judah, David became the king of all Israel, and he moreover succeeded in making Jerusalem the new capital. David became known as a powerful king to the surrounding countries. Hiram, king of Tyre, sent cedar logs and carpenters and stone masons and they built a palace for David. But this did not make David arrogant. He all the more praised God. David gathered the skilled workers that were scattered around in Jerusalem in order to kick-start the new politics. In this process, David managed to completely ward off the Philistines. Before the battle with the Philistines, David asked God about the outcome and God guaranteed that David would win. Fourth point, due to the death of Uzza, David stopped the entire 30,000 soldiers from moving the Ark to Jerusalem. David had plans to move the Ark of Covenant to Jerusalem. In order to do so, David put forth 30,000 soldiers for the job, to move it from Kiriath the Jerim to Jerusalem. Usa and Ahio guide the new cart with the Ark of God on it, but when the oxen stumbled, Usa reached out to steady it. Because of this, God struck Usa down. David stopped the entire process and temporarily placed the ark into the house of Obed Edom. David cared more about doing God's job properly than his own reputation. This was what fundamentally made him different to Saul. 
Fifth point, the Ark of God, which was made 500 years ago on Mount Sinai, now settled in Jerusalem. When David heard that there was good news in the house of Obed-Edom, where the Ark was placed, he attempted once more to move the Ark into Jerusalem. This time around, David moved the Ark according to the laws in the kingdom of priests. The descendants of Koath pressed the ark over their shoulders, and every six steps they took, David made an offering to God. After all this, the ark was finally placed in Jerusalem. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondok app. The Tondok app is not like any other app in the world today, as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondok app.